Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the SpaceGate Wall Climber. This is a remote controlled RC car, which is unique because it has a vacuum on the bottom that allows it to adhere to walls as well as ceilings and you can still control it uh, as it moves up and down. So it's a lot more uh, unique, I guess, than just your typical RC car. The concept itself isn't terribly new. We've actually seen it before and it was a bit more popular a few years back uh, when it was first uh, released. But this one sells on Amazon for under 20 25 bucks, which still makes it fairly affordable, comes in a number of colors. Again, you do need a fairly flush surface. It's not going to turn across corners, but it will work with a, any wall as well as glass surfaces and again, ceilings as well. So it has a pretty powerful uh, vacuum there. Otherwise, it requires six AA batteries, which is quite a few batteries to consider. So um, both for the remote control as well as for the car itself. And you can see here, it does have a rechargeable battery component as well that you can use to recharge the car once it's uh, connected to the, the uh, remote control which acts as the charging base. So in here we have access to both the uh, car unit itself. Uh, it's made out of plastic, has to be fairly lightweight just so be, so it you know doesn't accidentally drop or you know fall down when it's actually climbing on a wall. Uh, so that's something to quickly note. Construction quality isn't you know the best in the world for that reason. It isn't made out of aluminum or alloy or anything like that. And in this box we have access to the controller as well as the instruction manuals. So we're taking a quick look now. Here we have the user manual, it tells you how to set things up as well as uh, you know, in what places you can use it. And here is the remote, a pretty nice uh, full-size remote that we have there, and that's basically it. Um, here is the car, so we're going to try to pull off this uh, lever, and there we go. So taking a closer look at the remote first, yeah, again it's made out of plastic, it does have a slightly cheaper feel to it, uh, but it does use uh, infrared on the very top there to communicate to the actual uh, car. And uh, otherwise, you can see there are two LED lights which will turn on when the remote is on, as well as when it's charging the car when it's connected. Power on off switches of various modes for calibrating the actual left and right turns, as well as using it for turning different directions. So it's fairly intuitive as well as easy to set up. Down below here, you can pull up this uh, lever to reveal the proprietary charging cable. It's a very tiny little pin there. You need to use this to plug into the car for charging that. And it takes about uh, 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes to completely charge the car's built-in uh, battery. Afterwards, you can operate it, I would say, to uh, around 10 minutes and less uh, before you need to recharge it again. So not, not bad in terms of performance. Uh, below here, you have access to those six AA batteries, which is not included, unfortunately. And uh, that's basically the design of the remote. So the car itself, again, extremely lightweight just because it has to be light enough to you know go across ceilings and walls without dropping just because of that added weight. Um, there's access to a bit of an antenna on the top. You can see that uh, it's made entirely out of plastic. The wheels themselves again on the sides will move and rotate and control. And the back here is the most interesting part. It's the vacuum. So it's a very flush. You can see everything has to be this almost a race car inspired design. So when it's going on a surface uh, you can see everything is touching. So um, the air gets sucked in in between these and then pushed out again. So that allows allows it to really closely stick onto a surface quite easily um, without accidentally dropping off. It's going to work again the best on flat surfaces and surfaces that are flush. So that's something to quickly note. So next we're going to do a quick uh, demo by uh, putting in batteries and then showing you guys how it works once it starts climbing walls and ceilings. All right, so after charging this uh, remote controlled car for about six minutes, I think we're ready to go. The lights have turned off automatically. Again, the latch can then be closed up to put away that proprietary charging port. Uh, you can then turn the car onto on and also select the on position on the remote to start uh, navigating and using this. All right, so hopefully that demo showed you guys how this thing works when you try to uh, have it drive on a wall or onto a ceiling. You definitely notice the, the sound in the background. There is a quite a bit of uh, noise, uh, but if you have it in the regular RC car mode, just on a flat uh, a desk or onto a, a floor, for, for instance, it's uh, pretty much silent unless the wheels are moving and navigating, as you can see there. It's a pretty sensitive RC car, so movements are quite precise and easy to control after about just a few minutes of uh, using it. You can really get the hang of it and use it uh, nicely. Now, 
doesn't really work when you're trying to turn corners on a wall or on a ceiling so it's going to fall off. Uh, but otherwise it remains very stable and you can use this thing after a full charge for about uh, 12 to 15 minutes before you need to recharge it again. So battery life is decent and I like how it's rechargeable as opposed to using you know, a heavier uh, or a more nuanced uh, AA or AAA battery that you have to replace after a while. So this has been a video first look and a quick review of the wall climbing RC car. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.